And welcome back. A pair of Quincy firefighters share more than just a national award. Ryan Lancaster has the report. Twin brothers serving as resident volunteers with Grant County Fire District 3 got some big recognition recently, placing high in a Skills USA competition. Jeremy and Lennon Rosno are 18-year-olds from Wenatchee. They joined up with the Quincy-based Fire District in June. Also last month, Jeremy was awarded first place in the nation in firefighting at the Skills USA National Leadership and Skills Championships in Kansas City, Missouri. I know, it's crazy, right? Best in the nation. The annual firefighting contest evaluates young contestants' firefighting skills through hands-on demonstrations and oral presentations. About 1,000 judges evaluated more than 6,000 students from every state and three territories in the nation using industry standards for employment. The competition consists of three parts, a 100-question exam on firefighting knowledge, a panel interview, and a physical agility test. There's a stair climber, there's, you know, stealing, breach, and pole. you got to go through a search and rescue course and just kind of um, test your, your fitness as a firefighter. The course had to be complete in 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Jeremy was done in 9 minutes and 18 seconds. He was also tested on safety, ladders, knots, hoses, fire control, emergency medical care, rescue, and preservation of fire scene evidence, among a long list of other categories. Each contestant was evaluated using criteria set forth by the National Fire Protection Association. Lennon, meanwhile, placed third in Washington in the Skills USA competition, but he says his brother owes him one for his Kansas City success. I went to the state. I didn't go to nationals. Uh, I taught him everything he knows. So. Prior to coming to Quincy, the brothers were first-year students in the fire science program at Wenatchee Valley Skills Center. They competed against a lot of second-year students in the Skills USA competition. Jeremy credits his success to his teacher at Wenatchee Valley, Kurt Blanchard. He's been teaching for eight years, been a firefighter since I think 1992. He knows his stuff and his plan for teaching, with a lot of book work and just drilling that stuff in, uh, all the things you need to know. Um, you know, he's a national champion teacher, he, he knows his stuff. The two say they've wanted to be firefighters since they were about three years old. So about 15 years ago? Really? That's when we started this job. <laughs> yeah, we've been on job for a while now. Now it's just real. Their grandfather played a big part in fueling their ambition to get into the career field. Our grandpa was a firefighter, just a volunteer uh, in Shelling County, Fire District 6, a long time ago. And he, uh, he just took us to the fire stations, everyone from here to Tri-Cities. We've been to a few times and uh, just really enjoyed it and played around as little kids in the backyard. and. Ended up following our dream. While they're still learning the tricks of the trade, Jeremy says the job is turning out to be just what he'd hoped it would be. It's cool. You know, I've, I've only been on a few calls. You know, I can't do house fires yet. There's still only so much we can do. But, uh, you know, I've been on a few medical calls and just going into someone's house, being able to be there for them, you know, sometimes at three in the morning, you know, whatever. And just going, you know, saving people's property. There's a few fires on 4th of July, and, you know, we got to help people out, and I like that. Lennon says he loves the fact that no two days of work are the same. You never know when the tones are going to go off and you never know if, if they're going to go off, but when they do, it's, it's exciting. That's, that's a rush. For I-5 or One News, this is Ryan Lancaster reporting. Thanks, Ryan. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this.